uh, research uh, professor uh, Amin Girebi, who will present on atomistic simulation. So the floor is your uh, Amin. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Ayman Gerebi, and uh, okay. And today I'm going to, to to present you an introduction on atomistic simulation for material and process design. Okay, excuse me. Eh? So, what are the motivation behind uh, the employ of the uh, atomistic scale simulation? So, for a reliable uh, process and alloy design, uh, one needs reliable thermodynamic and property and property database. However, we observe a several lack of experimental data uh, for several property, thermodynamic and physical property of metastable compound, multi-component compound. Uh, higher order solid and liquid solution, and some key uh, property necessary to build uh, the Gibbs energy function, in particular, uh, the local structure, which is necessary to, uh, to, uh, to develop a suitable uh, entropy uh, model. So here in the center, to alleviate this several lack of experimental data, we are increasingly using atomistic scale simulation. So the, the atomic scale simulation can be also employed to understand and to solve an industrial problem. So in this example, in order to understand the wear of the cathode in the aluminum electro electrolysis cell, we have performed a series of density functional theory calculation to determine the electron density of state of SI doped IL4C3 uh, formed in the top of the cathode, uh, from which we have uh, deduced the aluminium uh, external transport numbers, which then allow us to, uh, to build a scenario for the cathodic wear by delamination of the IL4C3 layer. So the employ of the atomic scale simulation is twofold. First and primary is to build databases. And second is to directly understand and solve an industrial problematic. So let's start with the uh, first family of atomic scale simulation, the density functional theory, the so-called DFT. So the DFT is an atomistic modeling. It's based on the quantum mechanics. So it's straight the electron. It has an excellent predictive power in solid. It necessary, it necessary very few fitting parameters. It could be zero, it can be zero, and the parameters are very transferable. However, it's very computationally costly. One can envisage to study only small uh, system of hundreds of atoms at most. Uh, the time is very short, less than uh, one nanosecond. So what are the properties that we can calculate with DFT? All the energetic property, enthalpy and entropy formation of mixing in capacities, uh, elastic property, formal dispersion, uh, several electronic uh, properties such as band structure, uh, gap, density of state, optical property, and, uh, and also thermological property. So just first an example to illustrate uh, the use of the DFT in the construction of thermodynamic database. So, uh, for example, how to calculate the enthalpy formation of IL3TI in D022 structure for which no experimental data have been reported. So first, we calculate the total energy, so the, 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 the energy of the first reference structure, the FCC aluminum, by solving uh, not really the Schrodinger equation, but a uh, simplification of it through the Kuhn-Cham uh, formalism and the many body, uh, the many body uh, contribution are described with a suitable exchange correlation functional. So after simulation, we got then equilibrium energy, which for the moment has no meaning, it's just a number, and also the equilibrium lattice uh, parameter. 
We do the, exactly the same for HCP titanium, which is the, 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 the stable uh, structure, and we've got the total energy, and uh, the equilibrium lattice parameters. And lastly, we do exactly the same a calculation for the compound R3TI. If the total energy obtained by DFT has no meaning, the exchange to the energy of reaction, which describes the, the enthalpy of formation, has a meaning. Okay, so the enthalpy of formation is obtained by this uh, reaction energy here. Okay, and we can see that the obtained uh, enthalpy of formation is in good agreement with uh, what was opt uh, first uh, optimized in uh, FTL database. So, what are and what is the reliability of the DFT simulation for the enthalpy of formation? So, this is illustrated in this figure. Okay, for aluminium. Uh, transition metal uh, compound, we represent the predicted uh, enthalpy of formation versus the experimental one. And we can see that for all for this family of, uh, of, uh, of compound, we are within the, the so-called uh, 95% uh, confidence level, that is within the margin of experimental error. So for metals, DFT simulation is very accurate at least in predicting the enthalpy of formation. The enthalpy of formation can be used also to solve some experimental inconsistency. As we can see, for example, in aluminum zirconium system, uh, we observe a large dispersion of different uh, type of experimental data, even between the same, uh, the, the same experimental methods. So in this case, DFT density functional theory can be used to uh, to um, to overcome these uh, inconsistencies. For the method of calculation of the enthalpy of mixing is the same principle. We calculate the total energy of, uh, uh, <clears throat> for example, for aluminium titanium uh, solid solution. First, we calculate the total energy of aluminium supercell, then the total energy of FCC titanium supercell, and and uh, the total energy of the uh, random configuration at a given composition, and the energy of reaction give exactly the enthalpy uh, of mixing. So we can do, uh, normally the, 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 the enthalpy of mixing is obtained after the uh, average on several configuration, but it can so be uh, obtained on a single uh, quasi-random uh, structure calculation. So if we do the calculation for uh, for different composition, we got the enthalpy of mixing curve that we can use to uh, to formulate uh, to uh, to build our solution model in an, in the in the Faxage <clears throat> database. So uh, the error bar here in the the, the 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 enthalpy of mixing is a different energy for different configuration. So uh, considering several several uh, configuration, one can also access to the short range ordering and also to the and therefore to the uh, to the entropy uh, of mixing one can also calculate the temperature dependence uh, of the gibbs energy of a given compound through uh, finite temperature calculation so the principle is uh, is a minimization of the gibbs energy with respect to volume so the gibbs energy is formulated as follow it has a cold curve and work contribution plus a vibrational electronic defect and magnetic contri contribution if necessary. So without entering into details, the vibrational uh, contribution is formulated through the quasi-harmonic approximation for which we need to, uh, to, uh, to uh, which is parameterized through the Dubai, the volume dependent Dubai temperature. The electronic contribution uh, is parameterized through the, the electron density of state at the family level and the defect uh, is parameterized through the energy of formation of the vacancy. So, based on this formalism, one can calculate the heat capacity and the entropy and all the temperature, all the properties derived from the temperature dependence of the Gibbs energy. So, this example is. The, the, the heat content has a function of temperature for L3Z in the D023 uh, structure.
for which excellent data have been reported by ESSIN. And uh, we can see if we take into account the phono and the electron contribution, we achieve a very good agreement. And we can derive the entropy of formation. The same for IL2 and I2 uh, TI uh, system in L21 structure, uh, taking into account the phono, so the rational and the electron contribution to the uh, to the element energy, one can achieve a very good uh, predictive capability for the heat capacity as a function of temperature, therefore a good predictive capability for the entropy of formation. So the second uh, type of atomist atomistic scale simulation that we use in the center is, a is a equilibrium molecular dynamics. So the equilibrium, equilibrium molecular dynamic, or AMD, is also an atomistic modeling, but it's based uh, on the analytical force field. So we don't treat electrons like DFT, we treat ions. So it has an excellent predictive power in liquid. However, we need several analytic parameters, but these parameters are uh, very transferable from a, from, a, from a small order system to a low order system to a high order system. It is not compared to DFT is not very computationally costly. One can envisage a large system, thousand to up to a million atoms, and also a very long time of simulation, which is very uh, important when we want to calculate uh, uh, transport property, for example. So we can calculate with AMD simulation all the energetic property, enthalpy, enthalpy of mixing, formation, heat capacity, the same, the mechanical property, elastic property, also the structural property, so the local order in the liquid, the thermal transport property, for example, thermal diffusivity, viscosity, ionic total and partial conductivities, diffusivities, so uh, let's say a large uh, number of properties. So to illustrate the power of, uh, of uh, equi equi equilibrium uh, molecular dynamic simulation, I'm going to illustrate an example on the, uh, on the uh, Aluminium electrolysis cell. So the, the, in the aluminium electrolysis cell, uh, the so-called bath uh, formed by NIF, LF3, CF2, L2, O3, and maybe some other additives, is employed to dissolve the alumina and to uh, to electrolyze alumina into aluminium. So in this in this system, we have performed a series of the uh, of the AMD simulation to calculate. Uh, key property, density, uh, electrical conductivity, and viscosity. And actually, we found a good predictive capability uh, of uh, molecular dynamic simulation in predicting uh, this key property. So why uh, should we uh, calculate uh, property already available in the literature just to, to validate the problem? To validate the, 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 the potential and the, and the and the methodology. However, we can also predict several properties which are not available in the literature. For example, the ionic ions transport numbers, which are very important to represent the energy efficiency in the cells. So, from the simulation, from the AMD simulation, we have calculated uh, ions. Uh, transport number within the bath, within the electrolyte, in order to uh, to optimize the energy efficiency of the cell. We can also calculate the local structure. So having a good information on the local structure, so here in this case, uh, the local structure consists in uh, free uh, sodium, free uh, fluorine, and uh, Coordination, uh, coordination complexes, uh, which are basically fluoroaluminate and oxofluoroaluminate. So it's very important. The knowledge of uh, local structure in the melt is very important first to represent the short range ordering uh, within uh, within the, the, the system, so that we can uh, uh, <clears throat> so that we can uh, represent more accurately the entropy of mixing. And also uh, for a better description of the thermal transport property uh, of the electrolyte. So having a better, uh, having a, a good description, for example, of thermal conductivity of solid and liquid phase, 
uh, allows us, for example, to control the solid thickness, uh, the solid thickness, for example, in the uh, in the aluminium electrolysis cell. So that's it. This is some some um, let's say some uh, some example just to illustrate why we are increasingly uh, use atomistic simulation in the center. That's for me. And uh, if you have any question, thank you so much, uh, Ayman. I think it's a nice introduction to what uh, our student will present after. So basically, uh, what we wanted to show here is. The fact that for the for I, I think uh, the last 10 to 15 years we're really trying to integrate atomistic simulation into the thermodynamic description of important phases. And uh, thanks to Iman, we are able to do that nowadays. We have a lot of students that are uh, familiar with the use of supercomputer that can run these simulation, and this is what we'll see in a moment. So, uh, are there any questions for Iman? Um, yes. Have a look at the any section. Um, how is the calculation like for hydrated compounds or hydroxides? Uh, pardon? Hydroxide? Hydrate. Uh, hydrated compounds or hydroxide? Yeah, uh, it's possible. It's possible to uh, calculate the entalpy formation or thermodynamic property of uh, hydroxide compound. However, it's not the same uh, methodology than uh, presented uh, here. Uh, it's not directly like that, okay? Uh, it's a completely different formalism, but but uh, it's still based on uh, on uh, on uh, DFT simulation. That is only the atomicity at <clears throat> atomistic information of element are necessary, and even. Uh, and we have some, uh, some uh, let's say, not precaution, but uh, uh, some, uh, yeah, some precaution to take before uh, to uh, to learn simulation. The simulation are more complex, but are they are, uh, uh, the simulation are the, the results are quite reliable. But the simulation in hydroxide uh, system uh, is much more complex than in metals. Uh, Amen. We have another yeah. question, but I uh, I uh, will ask you to answer in the chat to continue because we, we yeah. want to keep the time. But maybe quickly, can you mention what is the MD simulation tool you use for the simulation, for example? Okay, the MD simulation tools because I'm studying, for example, uh, okay, uh, for for ionic system, uh, the MD simulation tool is called PIM. So it's a homemade code developed in Oxford by the Madden uh, by Madden groups. Uh, the potent force field consists in Coulombic and the bond Maya repulsion, plus parameters which take into account uh, the um, dispersion and the polarization. Basically, that are the, 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 uh, the uh, MD simulation that um, I'm using. For metal, uh, the MD simulation are based on the, um, on the uh, modified embedded atom model, but it will be presented by, uh, by Ricardo and Antoine. And, uh, and that's it. Okay, thank you, Amen, so much. And uh, I encourage you to uh, ask questions in the Q&A. And uh, okay. we'll, we, we're available as well after the, the other uh, talks. So now we'll move on to our students. So it's a great transition. 